Okay. So looking at this, it says find the derivative if it exists at a function at a specified point, 7 minus x squared at x equals 2. So if f of x equals 7 minus x squared, and I'm at x equals 2, if I would graph this, And go one, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven, one, two, three, one, two, three. Seven minus x squared. So if I put in a zero, I get zero seven. If I put in a one, I get one six. Negative one, I get six. Two, I get three. Negative 2, I get negative 3, or negative 2, I get 3. 3, I get negative 2, and so on. So it's a parabola that looks kind of like this-ish. Okay? Parabola. All right. So, let's say I want to find the derivative right here. If I want to find the derivative, I want to find the slope of the tangent line at that point. So is the slope going to be positive or negative there, Kelly? Negative. negative. It's going to be like that. That's a tangent line. Slope's going to be negative. So and it looks like it's going to be about negative 4-ish eh, or somewhere like that. To see, we can plug it into the derivative formula. f of x plus h minus f of x all over h, and that's as h goes towards 0, the limit of the function. So f of x plus h is 7 minus x plus h squared minus 7 minus x squared all over h. So it's 7 minus x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. We've done that enough where I can just write that down without multiplying it out. Minus 7 plus x squared all over h. 7 minus 7 cancels. If we distribute this negative sign through, negative x squared and x squared cancels. So we get negative 2xh minus h squared over h. So if we factor out an h. We get negative 2x minus h over h. The h's cancel. If we plug in a 0 for h, we get negative 2x. So the slope is negative 2x. So the slope at the point x equals 2 will be negative 2 times 2 or negative 4, what I kind of guessed a little bit ago. Okay, so the slope is negative 4. Okay, so if you have to find the slope at a point, you can go through the process and figure out what the slope is at that point. Okay, what would, just going back to this one, what would the slope be at negative 1? Right here. What would that slope be? Well, here's our slope, right? So it's negative 2 times negative 1, which is a positive 2. What would the slope be at x equals negative 3 down here? Well, that would be up like this, right? So the slope would be 6, because it's negative 2 times negative 3, which is 6. See how that works? Slope of a curve. Okay. Now, Here's a function. What's the derivative right here? Okay. All right. To find a derivative, the function at that point 
must be continuous and have the same limit from the left and right. Okay, it has to have the same limit from the left and right. Is this function continuous? And the answer is no. So is it going to have a derivative right here? The answer is no. Okay, because it breaks the it's not continuous rule. Is this going to have a derivative right here? It's continuous, but the problem is it's not going to have the same limit coming in this direction to, as it does this direction. Because the limit, the slope coming right here is going to be way higher than the slope coming from this way, which is zero. So if it comes to a point like this, then there's no derivative. Okay, there's going to be no derivative because it comes to a point like that. So, let's look at the function f of x equals 1 over x. This is one that we learned at the start of the semester. Looks like this. Really? Uh, the video probably cut off, but uh, those poor saps who aren't here, I guess they'll have to deal with it. The function f of x equals 1 over x looks like this. Okay? Now, at x equals 1, there, there is a derivative. Because it's continuous, and it'll have the same limit right here as it does right here really super close to this it'll have the same limit because it's curved okay at x equals zero is there a derivative no why not why is there not a derivative at x equals zero because it's not continuous. It's not continuous. There's a break. It goes up for eternity there. Then there's a break and it comes from negative infinity there. Okay? So it's not continuous. So there's no derivative. So looking at these problems. Okay? Um, I showed you how to do that one. This one is very similar to that. Okay? For this one. If you put in a 1 here, you get 2 over 2, right? So, would there possibly be a derivative here? The answer is yes. There would be a derivative. If x equals negative 1, then be 2 over 0, it would not be continuous. But here, it would be continuous, so there is a derivative there. So, how do you find a derivative if there's a fraction? Well, f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So 2 over x plus h um, plus 1 plus or minus two over x plus h all over h. okay? Not the easiest one to find in here, but um, to do this, we need a common denominator in our numerator. So we have to multiply this one by x plus h plus 1, and this one by x plus h. So we get 2x plus 2h all over x plus h times x plus h plus 1 over h minus 2x minus 2h minus 2. Well, the 2x's and the 2h's cancel. So I get negative 2 
over x plus h times x plus h plus 1 all over h, right? So this is a complex fraction, so I multiply both the top and the bottom by 1 over h to get rid of this. So it's negative 2 over h times x plus h times x plus h plus 1. Did I go wrong somewhere? Oh, yeah, I did. Way back here. This is x plus 1, not x plus h. Knew something didn't look quite right. There we go. 2x plus 2, and the 2s cancel, so that 2h doesn't. So it's negative 2h over this, and so these h's cancel. So it's negative 2 over x plus h, x plus h plus 1. If we put in a 0 for h, you get neg. Really? You get negative 2 over x times x plus 1. And if you put in a 1 for x, you get negative 2 over 1 times 1 plus 1. So it's negative 2 over 2, which is negative 1. So a derivative does exist and is negative 1. Here, the functions, you have to figure out which of these graphs is the right function for this. 3 minus x when x is less than negative 2, which would be this one x plus 2 when x is greater than negative 2 is this one. So this is the graph. What is the derivative at 2? Does not exist because it's not.